I'm Tim and you're watching one of my YouTube videos on my YouTube channel 10 Gig Tim. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to configure your UDM Pro Unified Dream Machine or UDM Pro SE to enable safer web browsing and prevent access to malicious websites and adult content. So first thing we need to do is to log in to your UDM Pro or whichever Unify OS device you're using and make sure that you're on Unify OS UDM Pro version 3.0.20 and also make sure that your network is up to date and this needs to be on at least version 7.4.156 as if you're using an earlier version, some of these options might not work or might not be available. So once you've logged into your Unify OS, you need to click on Network, which will take you into your network dashboard, as you will see here. And then from your network dashboard, you need to click on the cog icon at the left hand side or the gear icon, whichever you like to call it, um, which takes you into settings. Once you're in settings, the first thing you need to do is make a note of the DNS servers, which will be changing in the internet options. So as you'll see from this here, we're going to be using open DNS servers, which will block not only malware, but also adult sites as well which is uh, a better option if you have uh, children for example that you wish to not uh, allow access to uh, adult sites so you need to be uh, using the open dns family shield dns servers and these are 208.67.2.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
once you have selected that from the top downwards you need to go and select add blocking and make sure that that option is ticked scroll down and then under suspicious activity you need to select notify and block then under detection behavior you need to select that as high which should then say underneath that 35 of 35 detection types you can if you so wish edit the detection types by clicking on the edit word at the side there as you'll see it brings up a pop-up window with all of the detection types ticked if you want to use any options or you have any services enabled in your network that you do specifically use then you need to untick the option concerned but for this video I'm just clicking on save to enable 35 or 35 detection types and if I get any problems then I will edit the detection types further moving down under dark web blocker what this does is prevents traffic encrypted by Tor from moving through your networks now for those that don't know the Tor network allows you to access malicious or uh, illegal for example websites by using the Tor network and normally you would use a Tor browser for this we do not want to use the Tor network so we will tick the box to enable dark web blocker then under malicious website blocker you need to make sure that that option is also ticked and then once you've done that click apply changes you should then see successfully applied changes to firewall and security settings so that completes setting up the options now that we've enabled those options and saved the settings you should now find that malicious websites and adult content related websites have now been blocked um, there may be some new sites that do crop up which you might find are not currently blocked however the malicious website blocker option as you've ticked here you will see that it uses the unifies real-time database to block IP addresses that are known to be malicious so as this is a real-time database it's constantly being updated by ubiquity with IP addresses that are known to be malicious so you may find that there are one or two that do creep through but the majority of them shouldn't once ubiquity's real-time database knows about these IP addresses it should automatically uh, block them for future access once you have configured those options you need to open up a new tab or a new web page in a, your web browser you can type in www.x videos.com and here you'll see that it's saying this site is blocked due to content filtering so this confirms that your DNS servers and internet settings which we've configured for Unify Network are working correctly I hope you like this video keep a lookout for further videos coming again soon thanks for watching and bye for now